Number 6. Lark vehicles were extensively used by the U.S. Army during the Vietnam War. These vehicles were critical to the armed forces because of their special ability to traverse the battleground, even in places where there was no ground. The acronym stands for Lighter Amphibious Resupply Cargo, and they're basically boats with wheels. These amphibious vehicles worked around the clock to bring equipment from the ships in the harbors to the front lines. The Lark V had a 5-ton capacity, meaning it could carry 20 passengers and a 3-person crew. And then the Lark LX was a whole other beast. It could carry up to 100 tons, and there were actually times where this steel hold vehicle would carry the smaller Lark V. That's right, operations sometimes involved carrying a car boat within a car boat. It's basically history's most badass version of Russian dolls. Number 5. Up next is the Helica, which is a vehicle that looks a lot like what would happen if a car and an airplane met on Tinder and decided to put some joysticks into some tailpipes. Built in the 1920s by French automobile manufacturer Marcel Léa, this anomaly takes all of your thoughts about cars and makes them do a barrel roll. To turn, the rear wheels moved while the front stayed straight and the whole vehicle was powered by a giant propeller. Similar to the layout of a small aircraft at the time, the passengers in the car sat behind each other. In fact, Marcel's invention was known as the plane without wings. The first Helica prototypes were made out of plywood, and they weighed around 550 pounds, which meant that they were quite fast. In 1927, one of Marcel's prototypes clocked in at 106 miles per hour while speeding at the French circuit. That's pas très mauvais for what's essentially a propeller-propelled vehicle, huh? Number 4. Coming in at number 4 is a menacing monster of a vehicle which you can add to the long list of reasons why you should never cause trouble in Russia. Kalishnikov, the company that brought you the notorious AK-47 assault rifle, recently launched a new product itching to burn rubber and enforce order. It's an anti-riot truck that's simply known as SHIT, or in English, SHIELD. This monster comes stock with a shield that's slightly larger than your average garage door. It's connected from the back of the cabin and is placed in front of the truck via a mechanical arm. Police officers will typically get behind this massive metal plate. And the giant shield features a standing platform and openings through which officers can launch projectiles. Some versions of the truck also come with water cannons meant to disperse crowds as the vehicle advances. As you can see in this pic, we've imported this design to the US. The Kalishnikov truck is, for all intents and purposes, a movable wall. Number 3. In 2004, billionaire mogul Richard Branson set a new record for driving across the English Channel in an hour and 40 minutes. And that's right, I said driving. Branson crossed the Channel in an amphibious vehicle called the Gibbs Aquata, and he shaved more than four hours off the previous record. We've talked about Larks, but this vehicle is something completely different. The Aquata is more than just a boat with wheels. It was built from ground up for peak performance both in and out of the water. It can get up to 31 miles an hour on the water and almost hit 100 while on land. It also has a pretty slick design. I'm getting wet just thinking about it. What? Number two. With this next vehicle, there's more than meets the eye because the Jadeite ride is a real life transformer. Three robotics companies collaborated to create this incredible piece of Autobot machinery that's so epic that it has all the bumblebees buzzing. It seats two people and can switch from a driven vehicle to a 13-foot bipedal humanoid robot and back. Powered by a lithium battery, it can go about 37 miles an hour while in vehicle mode and roughly half of that while it's in robot mode. As the world's first rideable transforming humanoid robot product, the Jadeite ride has a lot of pressure on its shoulders and its wheels. It's expected to attract sponsors for its parent companies so that similar models can one day be mass-produced. 
The Decepticons won't stand a chance. Number one. There are so many impressive adjectives that we could use to describe the Thrust SCC. And conveniently, the most fitting is actually a fact. This is the world's first supersonic car. On October 17, 1997, it hit the jaw-dropping and pant-wetting speed of 763 miles an hour. It became the first land vehicle to create a sonic boom when it officially broke the sound barrier. The Thrust SCC was powered by two jet engines and at the measured record speed generated 102,000 horsepower. It was a major milestone, but one that British designers are determined to surpass. The Bloodhound LSR, in development since 2008, is poised for speeds near the 1,000 mile per hour mark. This demon is powered by a jet engine and will feature an additional rocket engine. British Royal Air Force fighter pilot Andy Green, who also holds the 1997 record, will be the one to drive the Bloodhound LSR in an attempt to break a thousand miles an hour. After that, he plans on defending the world from the maniacal schemes of Dr. Robotnik.